There was recently a huge acquisition in the AI world, and this one was a big one. Free pick and Magnific AI. Now, if you haven't yet familiarized yourself with the awesomeness of FreePick's AI features, you're missing out. That's because some of the things they're doing is mind-blowing. Now, with this little trick, this does a fantastic job to really get the exact image I was looking for, row after row and image after image. But for today, we're specifically talking about two things. An amazing type of prompt. It's called a permutation prompt, and this produces some amazing results. Results. And of course, the recent acquisition between FreePick and Magnific AI. But first, back to prompt permutators. These are a property of prompts to be able to generate several creation options with a single prompt. What you'll see is you'll see parentheses, and then you're going to put permutator one, and then put that vertical pipe, and then you're going to put permutator two. And when it comes to prompt permutators, FreePick is definitely going to be the best option to use these with. The amount of images that you can get from just one single prompt are literally endless. So quickly, let's just first get a closer definition of what exactly these prompts are. Permutation prompts allow you to quickly generate variations of a prompt with a single command. By including lists of options separated with commas within curly braces or parentheses in our case, you can create multiple versions of a prompt with different combinations of those options. For example, look at this image right here. Notice how I've gotten a ton of different options of different drinks or in this image right here where I've gotten tons of options with these different people. So with that said, make sure you stick around because you are definitely going to want to see these prompt permutators I'll be sharing with you today. But before we do that, let's first take a closer look of this amazing acquisition between FreePick and Magnific AI. So if you're not yet familiar with Magnific AI, basically it describes itself as the most advanced AI tech to achieve insanely high res upscaling. The details and these images are incredible when you use Magnific AI for your upscaling. An even better example are going to be extreme close-up shots like this one right here. Here's the before, here's the after, before, after. Amazing job. And the key thing to keep in mind is that they say for now, there will be no immediate changes for users of both platforms. So here is what is very exciting. In the long form, FreePick and Magnific will benefit from a more powerful and comprehensive suite of AI tools. However, FreePick right now does actually have an upscaler tool, but it can only go up to 2x. In Magnific, however, it can go all the way to 16x. And that's actually what's going to be so great about this is because Magnific is definitely one of those apps you have to use specifically if you're printing out large files. So they need their images to look very good. That is where Magnific comes into play. Let me first quickly just go to Magnific just to give you a very quick example with one of my own images. For this, I'm first going to go over here to my Mega Prompts database. Now I have two databases. This one is the ChatGPT Mega Prompts database, but it does contain a ton of AI image prompts. There's lots of different views. I could scroll over each one. I can click and expand every single prompt, look at the actual images that were created from this prompt. And then as I zoom in, I can actually copy and paste this whole entire prompt and use it for anything. I have categories so you can very quickly find any sort of image that you need. Sorted by date added because I add more prompts to this almost every single day. So for now, let's just go back in here and let's select one that we want to do an upscale test with. Let me click to expand it. Now these were made in mid-journey, but if I want to use this image, I'll select the download button. Okay, so here we are in Magnific and there it is on the left-hand side. It's been uploaded. Now underneath here, I have my scale factor, two, four, eight, or 16. Okay, let's do it with uh, four. Here's the before and now here's the after. And just with the 2x, this is amazing. Okay, now that we learned more about the acquisition, now let's move on to this amazing prompt or this prompt permutation. So this prompt strategy, prompt permutations, is basically set up to give you multiple images within the same prompt. And you can see on my screen right here, I have a very simple one. We're going to try an actual prompt. So at the very top, we have a series of images, okay? I got all of these images of these women with just one simple prompt. So you ask yourself, how did you get different ethnicities, different backgrounds, where I go from the beach to the snow to the desert, and then different women with different hairstyles, different colors of hair, blue, brown, blonde, etc. Below this, one prompt created the image of all these drinks. If I move this one up a little bit, you could see all of these different
different drinks that I got. So how exactly did we make that happen? Very simple. With this prompt that you see right here, everything is going to lie within the parentheses and then utilizing this pipe symbol right here, the vertical bar. Okay. So when you put these items into a parentheses, that's how we're able to get multiple variations. Okay. I'll show you this in real time. It's going to make much more sense once you see it. So with that said, we're going to head back over here into my chat GPT mega prompts database. Check the links in the description. And I already have a few of these added down here towards the bottom. Okay. So here is a good example of one of the ones I just showed you. Now check this out. Cinematic style, wide angle portrait of a man and woman in an interstellar or a futuristic world. And that's important to keep in mind. So notice I put man, woman, and that's exactly what I got. If I go over these images, I got two for women and I got two for men, but you could take it even further with the details. Notice how I put interstellar and futuristic world. I was able to get this. If I come to this one that you saw earlier today in that video snippet, here it is expanded. Here's that same image of all these different drinks on different settings. Here is the actual prompt right here. Okay. Now there's a lot to go through right here. Whiskey, sour, mojito, martini, rum punch on a vintage wooden table, sleek, modern bar. So I can get more images and more variety of drinks or settings every time I use a new parentheses and using that vertical pipe. Here is what I use to get these images of these women. Okay, beautiful woman, blonde hair, brown hair, blue hair. So that is why I was able to get a variety of women with different hairstyles, blonde, brown, and blue. And again, different set of parentheses because I wanted to change up my settings from a tropical beach to a snowy mountain to a sandy desert. So enough of the examples. Let me show you this in real time. Now, after I show you this prompt, I do want to show you two other amazing new additions FreePick just added. I'm over here in FreePick and I'm going to go to the AI hub and run image generator. So it's going to be very simple. We're going to start with the very first one. Okay. Just to keep it simple. Let me show you this simple prompt and then we're going to take things to another level. Okay. I'm going to come in here and paste this in portrait of a woman, man in a futuristic city. Keep it simple. I'll select photo. And again, we have all these amazing styles, framing and lighting that we can choose. And then look at that. Just like that, I'm getting everything I wanted. I'm getting both a man and a woman, all different varieties, shapes and sizes and colors of people in a futuristic city. And as I scroll down, I'm getting everything I wanted. All futuristic city, but different varieties of men and women. But now let's take things a step further and let's add a lot more details to it, okay? I'm gonna copy this prompt that I have right here and now paste this in, okay? Same thing, wide angle, man and woman in an interstellar or futuristic world. Okay, let's see how good of a job it can do where I put Pixar style animated and then pipe futuristic world. Let's see how good of a job this can do. Okay. Wow. Now this is incredibly impressive because I didn't think it could really do this. Notice man, woman. I got that. I got both men and women, Pixar style and futuristic. So I get a few images that aren't too animated like this one here. It looks pretty photorealistic. But now if I click on an image like this, definitely animated Pixar style. And as I continue to scroll, I'm just going to keep getting more and more images nonstop. It's almost like an infinite gift of AI generated images. And now last but not least, let me just show you this same one right here of a variety of different drinks. Okay. And so here is the actual prompt right here. So I want to give a shout out to the creator of this prompt. Okay. Here it is. So thank you, Peric, for creating this one. And if I click and expand it, you could see some of the other amazing things that he was able to create when it comes to these baby tigers or cubs, even going over to cool modern style architecture, and then even different settings like these yoga photos right here. I'm going to come in here and then copy this same prompt and I have it already pasted in. Now, let's Let's select create on this. And then there you have it again, right off the bat, I'm getting an amazing variety of all these different images, high quality. It looks fascinating. And also remember, you could change things up by changing the different styles. So before we wrap this up, let me first just show you two other amazing features that free pick recently released. So the first one is going to take place over here in the prompt bar. I'm going to go ahead and type a prompt in the first one I used. Now to take things a step further, notice on the left-hand side, there is this little button and this 
this button is called a prompt enhancer enabled. So I have it enabled. You can click it to enable it or disable it. So keeping it enabled, now let's select create. Now watch this. After I get my first image, I'm gonna click on the actual image and then it's gonna tell me the actual prompt that was used. Perfect. So if I click on this image right here, now in this box, I can select use this prompt and now at the very top of my bar, it's giving me the exact prompt that was used to create that image. And in fact, it's taking that image and now it's going to create the same exact image, but now in even more styles utilizing the same characteristics. Amazing feature. And again, it's called the prompt enhancer up here in the top left hand corner. Okay, now last but not least, here it is again. I'm back to the same prompt or I'm getting a different variety of styles, but now check this out. The next new thing is gonna be this style reference, okay? Select this plus button right here. And now I can utilize another image to get the same sort of style with. So I can drag or drop or select from a file or they also give us images on the right hand side that we can also use as inspiration to get that same sort of style from. So if you like one of these, you can select it. But what I'm going to do is come back over here to my Mega Prompts database and then quickly find a style that I like. Okay, let's just say I like um, this style right here. I kind of like that gradient back and forth color scheme. So let me open this one up. I'm going to download this image and now I'll use this image as my style reference. And now all you have to do from here is just simply click and drag it and and then drop it into this window right here. It's gonna appear and now just simply select use image. And now you can see up here, my image is actually displayed in this small circle, letting me know it's ready to go. Now select create. Now every image I'm gonna get now should resemble perfectly, just like this, the uploaded style reference image. And it does perfectly. Same neon gradient sort of color scheme. Amazing job. So there you have it. Many things in this video, a powerful AI, acquisition as well as an amazing prompt and two new features added in free pick but let me know what you guys think in the comments below have you used free pick for yourself but thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out until then we'll see you next time